Well, hello everyone. My name is Bura Turk. I'm a last grade student of environmental engineering at Hacettepe University. Today, we would like to present you our project, which is automatic evaporation and rainfall measurement system. So let's check it out. So I would like to introduce you our project, automatic evaporation rainfall measurement system. See? The two most important parameters of hydrological cycle are rainfall and evaporation. In this study, the evaporation rainfall amount is carried out automatically with high sensitivity and accuracy was developed by using a simple measuring vessels and liquid detection. I would like to introduce the components of the system. So let's check out the figure one. So we have a uh, measuring cups. Uh, you can see there are three, three vessels uh, used to, in order to perform evaporation and rainfall measurements. The evaporation measurement cup is located at top, the rainfall measuring vessel is located at bottom, and the level vessel is located between two of these vessels, and it's directly linked to the evaporation pan. And we also have a liquid detection electrodes. There are three of them. Uh, S1 is a level measuring electrode, S2 is evaporation measuring cup electrode, and S3 is rainfall measuring electrode. And we also have one more for detecting precipitation, which we called S4, rainfall start detection electrodes. So we have also uh, three solenoid valves actuators, SV1, SV2, and SV3, that control the flow of liquid in the system. And also there is a pump here that discharges the water accumulated on the evaporation pan from the rainfall measuring vessel into the water tank and we also have an electronic control board this is used to control our whole system how it works i would like to explain a liquid electron liquid detection electron sends the signal to the arduino and the arduino which is connected to the computer sends the necessary commands to the walls and while doing that all data are recorded hello my name is Azlam. I am an environmental engineering fourth year student. Now I will tell you how to measure evaporation in our project. By detecting the signal coming from the microcontroller level control electrode. It detects water loss due to evaporation in the evaporation pan and starts the necessary process for the adding water to the pan. For this purpose, it's opened the serenade valve, which controls the water flow between the additional water tank and the evaporation measuring vessel and initiates water intake into the measuring vessel. When the liquid level in the vessel reaches the level of the detection electrode, the valve is closed instantly and the water intake from the additional water tank is stopped. Thus, the same amount of water intake is achieved each time. The discharge valve located under the evaporation measuring cup is opened by the microcontroller and the water of which the quantity is known is added to the evaporation pump. This process is continued until the signal comes from the S1 sensor electrodes inside the level control vessel and which controls the evaporation pump level. With the signal comes from the S1 electrode, the process of adding water to the pump is finished and the amount of water added is saved in microcontroller memory. These operations are carried out instantly at the level decrease caused by each evaporation loss and the real-time evaporation measurement are made. Hello, I'm Ecan Bilgin. I'm a fourth year student in Environmental Engineering Department. I will talk about rainfall measurement. If a signal comes from the rainfall detection electrode as far during the controls in the main cycle, it means that rainfall has begun. The microcontroller waits for the rainfall to stop. When it is determined that the rainfall is stopped, the microcontroller analyzes and opens the selenoid valve SV3 under the level measurement vessel to decrease the rainwater accumulated in the evaporation pan to S1 level. Then it starts to fill the water 
water accumulated in the evaporation pan into the rainfall measurement vessel. It closes the solenoid valve when a signal comes from the S3 electrode located on the rainfall measuring cup. It analyzes the pump and discharges the water in the rainfall measuring vessel into the additional water tank. 